very thanks for the new information. Now, tonight at 10, Let's Move. That's a campaign created by First Lady Michelle Obama to fight childhood obesity through exercise and diet. Part of that campaign included a contest for kids to create healthy, tasty recipes. ABC 24's Jeff Bimefor is live in our studio tonight to explain why Memphians should care about this. Jeff? Well, Cameron, they ought to care because a 10-year-old Memphis kid cooked his way to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. A whirlwind two days took him to the Smithsonian to tour the kitchen of famed TV chef Julia Childs, then on to the White House. This is just so very cool. 10-year-old Memphis chef Logan Gulliff agrees. Very cool. His tuna schooners made him one of 54 kids to win a healthy eating contest and a trip to the White House. Our very first ever kids state dinner. These invitations made it official. Logan and his mom were official guests of the first lady. I don't even have words. It was surreal. When Logan and Kim were introduced, Mrs. Obama knew him and his recipe. I think that she said that was our favorite. After meeting the first lady, the big surprise. The president of the United States. Usually I get invited to the state dinners, so this time I just had to crash. And then he shook my hand. He leans right over me. I mean, he's just, he's right here. I mean, he's like, right here. <laughs> and he smells so good. Aroma aside, the president's lean-in didn't allow for many good pictures, but Logan and his mom snapped these bird's eye views from their phones. I think the whole room was exploding with energy. Pretty great like, moment, huh? Great enough because he shook everybody's hand. Absolutely. I mean, what else do you want? Good point. Leaving Logan sky high. Yes. <laughs> sky high, literally. <laughs> a, a couple hours after that, we're hightailing back to Memphis. Yep, hightailing it back. And back in the Bluff City, Logan and his mom were still trying to calm down from their whirlwind White House visit. And while Logan is homeschooled, classes today were canceled. Jeff Bynford, ABC 24 News.